This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by HelloFresh. Head on over to HelloFresh.com, use promo code MODERNROGUE14, and get 14 free meals plus free shipping. Also, keep us in business. I mean, I don't want to say we're addicted to spuds, but <laughs> we gonna love to us. Face it. So, so he loves us some potato cannons, right? I do. Yeah. First time we made one was when we, what, tried to improvise a tank, right? It was a technical, but sure. Oh, a technical, yeah. Yep. Firing! Private, are these potatoes? Yes, they are, sir. Good job, soldier. <laughs> we also try to figure out what it looks like when you take a potato in the face at point blank range. <laughs> Literally, when I take a potato in the face at point yeah, blank yeah, range. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right, it was your head. There was my head. Oh my God, it totally fractured the skull. <laughs> it destroyed, this dude is dead. <laughs> oh. With the smooth face, Yeah. He glanced away. Yeah. But that thing took the full amount of force. Yeah, so this time I assume we're bigger and better than ever, right? No. We're, we're, we're medium as ever, right? No. The world's smallest potato cannon. I love it. It's adorable. <laughs> All right, Corey, I said I wanted to try to make the world's smallest potato cannon. How did your quest go? It went well, obviously. <laughs> we, yeah, we, yeah. we have it's, one. It's a dude with sure. a thing. I went to Nighthawk and Light, one of our friends, and actually talked to him about it. So he actually built this, he calls it the mini air cannon on okay. his channel. And so I thought, that looks just the right size for a french fry. The moment you pointed at it, I was like, no barrel, no, don't, don't, don't you, you yeah, loaded do ordinance or whatever. See, <laughs> I love carbs so much, I'm like, Shoot the french fries into my mouth! I have no background knowledge on this, but I okay. assume that since there's a bigger part, this is some kind of vessel where pressure is created, and eventually, much like our potato cannon, the shooty thing goes down the tube. Yes, the, the traditional style, like the ones we built in the past, where you just spray hairspray inside, and then you would have some sort of ignition to light it, and then the combustion inside would blow it out, right? Right. Mm -hmm. This one actually uses a piston. It's a piston-powered. Okay, I don't know what a piston is. I just realized it's, I'm a grown man who doesn't know what a piston okay, is. Corey's about to give you a basic idea of what a piston is. This is the piston. So the idea of this one is, is you want to have as much pressure released through the barrel as quickly as possible. So in some of the versions you see online, if they have a air compressor, they'll pressurize it and then they'll have a valve they turn but the valve releases the air extremely slow. So even if it's a ball valve, something yep. where pretty quick, it's limited to how fast you can turn your hand. Correct, is that right? Because right? okay. it creates that small gap in there, which allows all the air to release. Knows what a ball valve is, doesn't know what a piston, piston is. is. That's right. right. I just think that's interesting. I don't know what a ball <laughs> valve is, I know what a piston is. So the idea of this one is, we have a piston. And inside of this chamber, this is our chamber that will hold the air, we will have a barrel. And we have the barrel with the end right here, the flared end the piston will mash up against the end of the barrel. Oh, air pressure goes up in here, mm -hmm. piston gets more sealed against it. Correct. But then we gotta do something to cause the piston to, to release. To pull back, yeah. yes. And so that's what the back half of this is. That's a Topo Chico plastic lid, I just figured it out. I've been <laughs> <laughs> wondering oh, what that was. Wow. Yes, okay, we pressurize it through a normal bicycle pump, right? Okay. Our bicycle uh, Schrader valve, which is the piston against Farther the barrel. Down. Yep, and it makes that seal. And then what we need is to release some of the pressure behind the piston so the piston pulls away from the barrel, allowing all the air to immediately rush through the barrel all at once. And so does, it, does it naturally pull back when the yes, pressure goes yes. down? Yes, once we have it pressurized up and sealed, we unscrew it really quick, not off, just unscrew to break a little bit of the seal, right. which allows the piston to pull back away from the barrel. Not so fast that the piston flies out and hits us in the Correct. face. Yeah, you'd but, have to really, enough, yes. yeah, yeah. And then it allows all that air to do all at once. So if this one's finished, can we see what it looks like just with air yeah, without messing around? absolutely. You know what I just realized is electricity is causing essentially a big version of this to happen right there. <laughs> and then we're gonna borrow some of that pressure into this and then we're gonna release it. That'll cause a French fry to go shooting out. <laughs> this is so awesomely dumb, I love it. <laughs> it seems like an inefficient use of energy. Yep, but yep, I a little it. bit. So the first thing I do is just make sure the piston's mashed up against the barrel so we don't leak right from the start. So let's give it a little test. Mash that in there good. Screw that on there pretty tight. And then all we do is just bump it a couple times. So this is set at about 60 PSI. So it's not gonna take 
more than less, probably less than a second to fill this thing with 60 psi. Is, is that a lot of peas? In the Nerf episode, the darts that we were shooting yep. at, those were like 60 psi, and they yep. went into a watermelon. And now it's charged. So now to release it. That didn't sound like much. Nope. That sounded like an assassination yeah. or something. I mean, like somebody's going to fall. Once again, we don't need a tremendous amount of force to send a french fry or a q-tip across the room. Do you actually want to shoot a q-tip? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Like, are we dealing with enough force that this would be dangerous? Um, I guess if you shot somebody in the eye with the q-tip, it'd okay, be Okay, so painful. eye protection. No, it's yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll yeah. get okay. that. You, you have to load it from the back, right? Or do uh, you tamp it down? You can do both. Like a musket. We'll, we'll do the musket tamping. Okay. So we insert that q-tip in there. Yep, and then you're gonna tamp it down. Tamp it down a little bit until I can see it coming out the back side. Or right you want towards. it right at that edge. An assortment of protection. Okay. So you oh. see it right on there. So okay. mash it down there against pretty yep. good to get yep. this out. Mashed right all the way up there. Yep. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put that on there pretty nice tight. And not, tight. Not tight. Not so tight. You strip the threads on it. Okay. All and right. And go ahead and charge and it up. Yep. Yep. And then break that seal real quick Ooh. and real firm, like a, like a good twist. Okay. I'm gonna try to hit that target. Yep. Three, two. One twist. Oh <laughs> nope. No, a little fast, a little faster, a little faster on the twist. A little faster on the twist. All right, here we go. Three, two, one twist. Piston problem? Yeah, maybe it just wasn't mashed up against it. Let me give it a shot. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. You okay. can shoot me with that. Yeah. I try not to hold it too long with the pressure in there because I don't know if it's leaking around right. the, the rubber seal or not and that kind of stuff. So oh. I try to make it pretty quick. And ideally, you wouldn't be twisting the entire weapon. You yes. would be, you, or, yes. or whatever. Do, do we get to call it a weapon? I don't know what the rules are anymore. No, it's a toy. Yeah, it's, it's not a toy. Twist no, it's not toy. a toy. It's <laughs> definitely not a toy. It's a tool. <laughs> it's a device. Shoot me. You think? Yeah. Wait. Okay. Yeah, we, shoot me. Should, should we shoot him with a French fry? Shoot me with a French fry. Okay. In my mouth. Oh, well, it's gonna be fine. I don't want too much of a load in there. We don't have too much pressure to be able to push it out. Where'd you get the fries? Uh, fries they, they're not advertising, so. Okay, yep, that's a good, good answer. Yeah, they ain't paying us. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> well, it's it's all the way back there, but there's also kind of holes in there. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's see okay. what happens. Wait, don't you nope. need the? I do need the pistol. Hey, look, I helped. You did help. <laughs> that was nice. Where were we in the face, in the mouth? Center the, mass, man. Center chest. Mass. All right, let's give it a little little test. All right, you ready? Yep. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Yeah, you definitely could have caught that in your mouth. That was amazing. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming that this could be legit dangerous if you had a big enough vessel with enough pressure of course. to oh, yeah. blast it out. This yeah, was yeah. obviously meant to be shooting fries. Yes. Well, let's put another fry in there. All right, you ready? All right, yep, says about 70 PSI. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you know what? I don't think I need this. I'm just gonna get reckless. One thing we can do is jab a potato to get a better seal. Right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna put the helmet yeah, back on. Yeah, I was on. about to say. Whew, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that's tight in there. That's a tight potato. There we go. Three, two, one. Oh, I missed him, but man, it flew that time. I didn't see it. I heard it. All right. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. No. Oh, no. Stuck again. Man, I was nervous for that one, too. <laughs> Gritting my teeth. <laughs> there you go, boss. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> You got me! Did it hurt? No. No, okay. <laughs> no, we did, we did shoot a potato, though. Uh, yeah, we did, we did. We did, we did, we did. Uh, we did. Yeah. So in theory, we've already done it, but now we have yes. to learn how what it is we did. Absolutely. All right, first off, what is this? It's a Coke preform, or a soda bottle preform. So this is what a soda bottle looks like before it gets formed into a real uh, bottle. With the, with the vacuum molding. Yes, oh. you do. Mm -hmm. You heat yep. it up and it goes and yeah. neat. Yep. And the reason why we use this is because this is meant to hold pressure. And it also fits on standard. Correct. Yeah. Yes. And for this, I actually had to switch caps because the caps that came with this were like the flimsy water bottles. Because you can buy these on Amazon, but they're usually meant for like storage or test tubes. Uh-huh. Not to right. be that pressurized. Correct. Yeah. So I used a pressurized cap for it. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is drill a hole in the end of the test tube. 
I mean, not not to jump to the end, but I'm gonna guess uh, that we probably drill a hole, stick this thing in, seal it up, bada bing bang. That's basically it. Yay! Hey, hey, you got it. it, out. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this part since I have the dexterity. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Never drill towards your hands. There's epoxy here. We're really good at that, so we'll take that part. In theory, don't do that. Don't Before do like they that. write it in the comments, we you know. know. Yeah, put it on the thing. No, 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 no. This is the proper way. Yeah. If you know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Now we're going to switch to a larger drill bit. Because mm. we need it that size. Okay. We're going to test this in a second. I peel this to... off, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is what? 5 16th inch? Uh, break line is what that is. Got it. And then we need to cut the flared end off. Okay. One of the flared ends. Uh, ooh, which is, I'm guessing, what this nope. is for. Mm -hmm. Nope. No. Oh. oh. That's what the... Oh, the hacksaw. Oh, the actual hacksaw. Does he need to get the entire sticker off? Uh, no. Uh, okay. Then I'm not going to worry about it. Yep. So... We leave the barrel. We just cut the tip off. Oh, easy. Yep. Easy. No sense measuring. What's the fastest joke you know? I'm just, I'm just going to mangle it. What do you, what do you, what do you call a pile of cats? What? A mountain. <laughs> I, what have I done? <laughs> you unleashed Corey, Brian. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Didn't think it through. How do cows do math? No. How they uh, use a calculator. No. I, I, oh, God damn it. Make it stop. Hey, Jason. Murphy. did you know dogs can't use an MRI machine? Why? But cats can. Oh, no, no. God damn it. Jason, help. I have a pair of scissors here. I can stab him. No, you need to come up with something better. Okay. No, I said that one already today. Mm. There it is. No jokes. Oh, perfect. Nailed it. All right, got it. Okay. Beauty. All right, now what? Uh, slide those two off the end if you can. Uh, we do need to get the sticker off. Oh. Yeah, this is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to go get the, uh, the white gas on there. <laughs> yeah, that actually works all right. Almost at it. I feel less bad now. I, I, yeah, like, exactly. That, that, that was weirdly affirming. Like, I feel good that uh, we brought Corey onto the team because he clearly just half-asses things sometimes too. No, oh, there we go. He efficients his way through things. <laughs> Man, I remember yeah. the days when we didn't even have a vice. <sighs> okay, now we got a tester fit. Not quite right size yet. So we need to Widen waller it. it out. Oh no, is that where you wobble it? And Wall then everybody, uh -huh. oh, they love it when they you love. wobble. Oh. Yeah, see, my dad used to call it waller. Waller? You gotta waller it out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I wonder if that's a Miriam Webster. I'm thinking no. We wallered. Yeah. Okay. So that we're gonna set aside just for a second. Now we need to cut PVC, which we will use the blue thing. Okay, how much? So we want it to be roughly oh, this for the piston. Okay. distance. So right about there. There you go, there you go. Hey! Okay, so for this part, we need to create a little base in the bottom of it. So we're gonna fill half of it up with hot glue. Okay. That's about halfway. Yep, that's good. There you go. Why are we filling that? Because we have to make a piston. Yes. Oh, because, yeah. Okay, dumbass. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, I, I didn't say dumbass. Uh, no, I, I, I did. Didn't mean it. That was. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> yep. Good. Yep. Okay, so now I <laughs> want you, you to grab the pair of scissors and cut a square out of the rubber pad. Wait, wait, wait. All of a sudden there's rubber pads? What's going on here? Yeah. Like uh, that's bigger than the end of the PVC pipe. Doesn't have to be precise. That's good. Okay. And this is just rubber? Just a rubber mat? Yes, this okay. is one eighth inch thick rubber mat. Okay. The idea is once your glue cools off and dries, right? It's got a nice flat surface. Right. Yeah. Well, the hot glue will just peel off this plastic, Correct. right? So we have a nice okay. flat surface to put some super glue on and glue the rubber pad to the top. Got it. And then all you have to do is just trim it around with a pair of scissors. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then maybe file it if you need to, if it's because if it's too thick, it won't fit into the barrel. So just keep sanding it down until you have a nice little piston. Nice little smooth seal. Yep. And the next step is to glue the barrel into the plastic tube that we just drilled. Right this there. one right here. Yep. There we go. Yep. 
And we would want it all the way back here, right? Correct, yes. So we're gonna use epoxy, and epoxy that's meant to be used on metal and plastic, just so that way it holds a little stronger. Okay. So we actually take our uh, piston that we made, yep. and then can you hand me that nickel down there as well? And so set the nickel on the table. Yep. And then we set this on top of it, because we need just a little bit of room for the piston to be able to push back, right? Oh, Against okay. the cap. So this nickel creates just a little bit of gap. So we can set that right there. And then now set the barrel and the plastic and on top. And now at this point, we've got everything lined up. Uh, now push the barrel down against the piston. And we want that nice yep. and even. Mm -hmm. So hand me that marker right quick. And we want to just be able to mark where roughly we're gonna apply the epoxy glue. Okay. Let's mix so, that up real quick. At this point, do we keep the uh, piston nope, in or ahead, no? Okay. I'll go ahead and take it out just for this second. You know, apparently you have to mix epoxy. <laughs> it's such a dumb thing. Why don't they just mix it together in the two? Why don't they build the whole plane out of the black box? <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good idea, actually. Apply epoxy uh, right around that spot right there. Okay. A, a pretty healthy dose. Yep, all the way around. It's fine if it drips a little bit. Just get a bunch on there. Yeah, that's enough where I feel like if it hardens, it'll it'll seal everything up. Mm -hmm. and okay. Then slide this in through that right there. And then attempt not to get too much on the. Yep, that's perfect. Look at those. Do do we hold it the yep. whole time? Well, we just we squish it up right there, right? Yeah. And then now we go ahead and get the uh, piston back. Okay. Uh, right there. Piston set it yep. on the nickel. Oh yeah, 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 for the right distance. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna set that back on there. And then go ahead and put the rest of that epoxy around the top. So we're fully sealing it. And epoxy, it's not like uh, it's going to shrink over time, no. right? No. Okay. And if you got a really good tight seal and you were careful with how you drilled it, and then you got enough epoxy on the other side, it'd probably be enough. Well, I noticed but... the care and attention you put to utilizing the yeah. drill. And so we want this to be even. Right? Yes, yep, straight up and down, yep. It sets in about 15 to 30 minutes, but I don't believe that is for rated for pressure then. So this okay. would probably should uh, dry overnight or cure yeah. overnight. Okay. So the last part is adding the uh, valve to the end. Right here? Yep. Okay. So once again, we will be drilling a hole into the cap. So I'm gonna drill a little pilot hole in this one. Okay. Then we need a larger bit. You can just waller it. You could waller it. This one I do need a good seal on because we don't have very much plastic. Ow. All right, let's drill that guy out. See how we set the counter? I can't believe you would say that out loud. I, <laughs> Sorry. Just, like, <laughs> Sorry. It's been five years. <laughs> I would. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, I think we still got a ways to go. If we had the appropriate size bit, it would help. But instead, we're just gonna waller. Told ya. Uh, also, you probably should use the correct size drill bit. Oh, now. Now he says. Yeah. Oh, so that is sealed up right there. Uh, you would, uh, I assume you would want something on the other side or would you just epoxy I, I, all that? I used a little bit of epoxy on both sides. Yep. And then that's, that's the build, fellas. Oh, oh, let's oh. let it dry and then we'll take it for a test drive. Yeah. And now there's only one question. Does it work? And how dangerous can we make it? <laughs> <laughs> I like where your head's at. I mean, everything seems to have sealed on here nicely. It looks good to go. I, how are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, it looks great. We got good seals around there on both sides. The piston slides right in. <sighs> okay. It has a pretty good seal. And then the cap, we have a, another good seal around the metal and the plastic of the cap with the epoxy. Now, in theory, we should just be throwing french fries at each other, but I, I, I think we all want to see exactly what this can do. Right? <laughs> I demand when I go to fast food that they deposit the fries directly into my mouth via a pneumatic <laughs> gun. <laughs> Why are you holding a bamboo shard while you say that? <laughs> what are you? That could go wrong. <laughs> this is a dart, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Do, do, do we yeah, sure. throw the front, right? Next one's well. Fletchettes. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and then the piston. The piston Wait, goes let's in. let's see. Let's poke it back as far as we can. Ah! Whoa! There we go. Okay. All right. Yep. Push piston, the piston is up against aligned. the barrel. Yep. All right. How many PSIs are we doing? Uh, let's see oh, here. Uh-oh. Oh. And we're putting it in the vise so that we can crack it much faster. Yes, yep, and, and it's much easier to hold level and straight than trying to unscrew it while you're holding it at the same time. Yeah, that's like fanning the hammer yep. on a cowboy gun, which does you not get work. get a cowboy. Wait, 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 that, that doesn't work? No, think about it. 
That works. This makes your gun fly all over the place. Not if you're awesome. Okay, so we have about 90 PSI right now. Okay, so I'm gonna charge it. And then crack it to the right, or is it to the left? Uh, it's uh, lefty Lucy. <laughs> This lefty yeah, Lucy. Yeah. This well, with plumbing, it's <laughs> but whatever. But get a good grip so you can twist it a long way. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. In fact, why don't you practice once or twice just, okay. just to, to get a sense? Yep. That should do it, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, loaded bamboo dart charging. Wait. I'm your huckleberry. Got it down. Three, two, one. Yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it's sealed. Uh, we want to make sure that the uh, the piston is all the way up against that correct. edge, right? And I don't I don't think we had this quite. Oh, you got it, got okay. it. So it's leaking out. Yeah. Uh huh. There Ooh, we go. That sounds good. Yeah. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh! Ah! <laughs> did it go all the way through? I don't know. Yes, it did. Okay. Ooh, do you want to okay. shoot me? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'll put the mask all, on. All the way through? Like, yes, I do, Jason. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it's creepy, uh, but just, also. Just FYI, everybody needs eye protection in the room now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're praying to your own destruction. Oh. So it looks uh, like it went down pretty low. And in the air, changeling. Uh, Man, I don't like this. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. <laughs> All right. Is uh, it alive? Uh, if it fires straight, we may, have to, we may have to do this one a couple times. I do not aim with my eyes. He who aims with his eyes has forgotten the face of his father. Thank you, Sai. Oh. Die, changeling! Three, two, one! Oh! Oh! He's doing the human blockhead and everything! Oh! This has to stay there forever! That's so good! Oh! Uh, 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 quick, thank yous and plugs. Who do we thank? Uh, oh, Nighthawk in Light yes. uh, for helping uh, Corey uh, figure out that build. Yeah. Thank you, Corey. Corey, you're a champion. Jason, yes. congratulations. You're a sideshow act oh. wearing a fez. Now let's dip it in tetrodotoxin. Uh, they don't really, let's find some frogs and lick them. <gasps> Did I, I take you for a loop there? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a guy. Oh, that's right. It's fall, and you know what that means. That means it's time for all of your crazy pumpkin spice mocha lattes, whatever stuff. Screw all that. Get yourself a meal that celebrates fall with our friends over at HelloFresh. They got all these fall-themed flavors, and the best part is you make it yourself. You get to look like a culinary wizard, and you get to support our show. If you head on over to HelloFresh.com, use promo code MODERNROGUE14, you'll get 14 free meals plus free shipping. What's that you say? What's HelloFresh? Shut up. You tell me you ain't heard of HelloFresh, the company that sends you delicious meals with all the ingredients prepackaged in the perfect amount so that you can use the proportions in order to cook and feel like a freaking culinary genius? I got a bit passionate there. Well, it's a good thing you haven't heard of them because that means you get to take advantage of our special deal. Monorail 14 at checkout, 14 free meals, free shipping. Look, you guys know I'm lazy and I like looking like a genius. That's why I love HelloFresh. I get to look like a genius with delicious meals where they do all the hard work and I just show up like, oh, this whole thing, it's delicious and I'm making it in front of you right now. You can be that guy. Just head on over to HelloFresh.com right now. Use that promo code. I'm not saying it a third time. Modern Road 14. But I will say that HelloFresh has a wide variety of meals to suit your lifestyle. My daughter's a pescatarian. She can be taken care of thanks to HelloFresh. And I don't have to figure out the right things to get at the grocery store. Lazy, I'm lazy. We're talking 20 minute meals that are shipped directly to your doorstep with easy cleanup. All of the benefit, none of the hard work. Why wouldn't you go to HelloFresh? Okay, the answer is, because I didn't mention the code one more time. Fine, hellofresh.com, promo code MODERNROGUE14 for 14 free meals and free shipping. Get lazy, look like a genius, be like me. Uh, uh, be like me. Uh, uh, gonna eat those black beans. Uh, uh, eat those black beans. Uh, uh. Oh, you know what time it is. It's HelloFresh time, you mother Ow! <laughs> Offer and link in the description below. <laughs> the story yeah. the changeling is telling, Morocco, 1990.
1920. <laughs> I was hit with a dart tipped with curare in an alley. I needed 75 rubles and a ticket to Timbuktu. <laughs> I was street performing. Five cobras approached. 